Okay, I was doing some cleaning and uh, here's some Spanish moss. Normally you don't see it this up close, so um, the way to look at this is that here's a plant and it has a runner that goes to another plant that has a runner that goes to another one and so on. That's the end one. So, those are the little hairs, the trichomes, and what the trichomes do is uh, they help the plant collect water. So kind of like a net or a screen that collects mists and water um, that allow the plant to absorb it. So uh, it's fairly green. It's a little bit moist um, and allows it to survive in this uh, rather weird epiphytic habitat that it's uh, uh, from. So this is rather unique as a species. So um, Usnea, um Usnoides is a species, Tilianza Usnoides, uh, found Virginia all the way down to Argentina. Um, it does bloom, and um, should mine bloom. I'll do a, a video on the flowers, the three little green petals. And it is aromatic too, by the way. Uh, spring, it has capsules. Uh, Recurvata, uh, Tilianza Recurvata is, the, uh, is a related species, and that actually can... Uh, cross with this one to produce a uh, hybrid um, but anyway Spanish moss so the the trichomes actually can be used to identify species usually not but um, uh, they are characteristic of uh, individual species so something that's more in the cloud forests is going to be different than in the deserts than in the, the rainforests and so forth. So different hairs for different environments. So anyway, uh, Spanish moss.